Welcome to What Gear Reviews. Consider subscribing if you like smartphone reviews and loads of other tech related stuff. And every year, a new Snapdragon emerges from the darkness. With it, some significant hmm. upgrades. So today, I'm counting down from 10 some of the most awesome upgrades we're gonna see in 2020 when it comes to flagship smartphone devices. Number 10, the new Qualcomm Cryo 585 octa-core CPU. Now, I'm not gonna to get too techy with this, but what you really need to know is it has a 25% faster performance than last year's 855 chipset. So that's gonna affect a lot of things when it comes to the performance of your device. Everything from AI, load speeds, read and write speeds, and efficiency. Number nine, the new Qualcomm Adreno 650 GPU, the graphics processing unit, now delivers 25% better performance than last year's. And with this 25% performance boost, things are gonna be even faster. Number eight, the fifth generation Qualcomm AI engine is now two times more powerful than the 855 and it can perform 15 trillion operations per second whilst using very low power. So AI relates to a lot of things in a smartphone, but the most obvious one is the Google Assistant and Qualcomm have introduced their sensing hub, which allows your device to be constantly listening, constantly always on and can even make use of the cameras using really, really minimal power. And this can be useful for loads of things. But anyway, on to the next one. Biometric security is super important and it's about to get even more secure with the brand new Qualcomm 3D Sonic Sensor Max, which can now scan two of your fingers instead of one and actually takes up way more space on the screen. So you don't have to be in exactly the right spot to unlock your device. And then if you wanna step up the security a bit more, you can use the two finger authentication. So it'd be interesting to see how quick this rolls out into new technology. And also with this new security feature, pretty soon we might see passports and driver's licenses able to be loaded to your device and be used as actual genuine documents. And that's a pretty big game changer if that ever happens. Number six. 5G is about to get even faster if it wasn't fast enough already. So with the Snapdragon 865, you'll be able to get 7.5 gigabits per second download speeds, and it will support frequency bands, including millimeter wave, sub six, TDD, FDD, and dynamic spectrum sharing. And just to make it really clear, no matter where you are, if there's 5G, the Snapdragon will make the most of it. Number five, the Snapdragon 865 can support 144 Hertz displays with desktop forward rendering. And all of this is thanks to the Adreno 650 GPU. But with this 144 Hertz display support, not only can your device now have a 144 Hertz display, but it can actually output your games to a 144 Hertz monitor. And as well as that, it has a Game Color Plus software, which will improve and enhance existing games, which will make them look much, much better. So that's pretty awesome. Number four, the Adreno GPU is the first ever GPU on a mobile device that has the ability to be updated via the Google Play Store. So in the past, GPU drivers could only be updated with software updates from Google directly, but now, with the Google Play Store updates being available, as and when the GPU needs to be updated, you don't have to upgrade your entire firmware. And that is a pretty big deal. I can't wait to see what kind of impact this has when it comes to gaming on devices. Number three, the camera on Snapdragon 865 devices has two gigapixels per second speeds. And what this means is it's much faster at capturing photos and videos and the speed in which it can work, it can film 4K video at the same time as taking 64 megapixel photos. So if you wanna capture the perfect photo, you can literally just film it in 4K and then choose the frame that you want instead of just pointing and clicking, which means you'll probably be able to get much better photos. I can't wait to see this in action. What a great feature. Number two, 8K video capture. So 8K TVs are starting to hit the shelves nowadays. In a few years, probably they will be the norm. But your phone from 2020, should you have a Snapdragon 865 device, will be able to shoot 8K video, which is really, really awesome. I wonder which company will be the first to introduce this onto their smartphones. And as well as that 8K capture, 
you will be able to shoot videos in Dolby Vision, which is better than HDR10. Basically what it has is lots more metadata attached to the video files that allows it to have better contrast, better detail, and just generally a better video right across the board. So number one for me, 200 megapixel camera sensor support. That is just insane. I can't wait to see how good photos are gonna be with a 200 megapixel camera sensor. I've got an idea of what brand I think is gonna launch this first, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So that's been my top 10 upgrades on the Snapdragon 865. There is so much more technical information on the Snapdragon 865, but I wanted to keep it really simple for you guys, just so you know some of the awesome new stuff that's coming to devices in 2020. If you enjoyed this one, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.